Bill Moore. Nice. Okay, just, just uh, are you actually rolling? Yes. Right, just we walk around to the right. Great. Cross your arms, cross your chest. That's great. And face camera, arms on, the, on your hips. Great. And go into the waist shot. Excuse me. Start. No, it's okay. Go into the waist shot. Hold it there. And action. You'll be all right now. I really appreciate it. I always show up when I'm in trouble. How can I thank you? Well, it might help if you'd stop butting in when uh, you don't belong there. I never. <laughs> never? Well, almost never. Next time I might not be around. I've got some cokes if you want to hang out. Think how guilty you'd feel if some uh, old lady's getting mugged and I'm, I'm not there to help her because I'm sitting here having a coke with you. Must be boring being so alert all the time. Never a chance for fun. I have lots of fun when I'm with you, Lana, but I'm afraid I've had my quota for today. On that solar system or planet wherever you come from, they do have girls. Of course it's the same all over the universe. This campus is a microcosm of the country. The country is a microcosm of the world. The world is a microcosm of our soul. I thought that your major was political science, not astrology. Have you ever had a girlfriend? We were talking about astronomy. I'm talking about relationships. No matter where it is in the universe, all you males are the same. You run. You understand I have no personal stake in this. I'm just making an objective observation. Oh, of course. <laughs> if this is all straightened out, I'm going to be out of here. Avoiding the question. Have you ever told a girl in outer space that you love her? I'd tell you that it was none of your business, but uh, I don't think that would stop you. Did you ever tell a girl you loved her? Admit it. You never have. You're all incapable of uttering that simple three-word phrase. <sighs> I don't believe I'm having this conversation. Don't panic. I'm just conducting an experiment. Look, it's not terminal. You place your tongue back in your mouth against the clavicle. The, cl the clavicle? Maybe it's your collarbone. I was always lousy in physiology. Anyway, you place your tongue against that thing that hangs down in the back of your throat, and you say slowly, I love, repeat after me, I love you. It's time to take off. Great. Right. Cut it. I'm getting a little more into this. No, don't worry. I feel a little better. I was like... Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, just... Okay, leave time. I'm kidding. Joke. Can you take the glasses off? Sure. Okay, what? Keeping it top secret will help. D-U-M-B. That's what it is. It's just dumb. Dumb like it's dumb. It's dumb like I did something that doesn't agree with you. A halfway intelligent woman with half a brain could tell in half a second that, that Brian Johnson is, is a, such a loser. One thing nobody can say about Brian is that he's a loser. He's witty, charming, bright. He's, a dr he's on drugs. He cheats on exams. He beats his sexual partners. Those are only rumors. It all started by envious nerves. Rumors hell. I want you to stay away from him. I want I want you to just You want what, you, what you've got is an exaggerated case of male ego running uh, wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't don't hand me the psychology one chatter. Look, it's too serious for that. You bet it's serious. If you don't back off from that possessive brother approach, you can walk right out of my life. <clears throat> the guy is poison, okay? If you don't break it off, you, you're going to end up in more trouble than even Superboy's going to be able to get you out of. Clark, if we go on like this, we'll both be sorry. Let's give it a rest, please. <sighs> I guess so. And while we're on the subject of Superboy, how come you're never around when Superboy shows up? Simple. Superboy is 
taking care of the little physical things, and, and I'm at the White House helping the president wrestle with the real problems, the nuclear war and, and the uh, arms race and, and the budget deficit. How is it that whenever I bring up Superboy, you avoid the topic by attempting to be funny? Attempting. Ask your question. Why are you never among the present when Superboy appears? Smart. You think I want a comparison between me and Superboy? Talk about talk about uh, overmatched. You, you were right on target earlier when you were talking about male ego running wild. That's me. Not making sense. Who's, who'd make a comparison? Oh, hey, we're late. You didn't answer my question. Okay, that's fine for me, John. I feel like I had a little more fun with that than the... Uh... Don't worry, that's, that's, that's funny. But I'd just like to do a, a, a head of you. Oh, okay. Glasses on, glasses off, and that's it. Okay. You stop taking so you can off. just go into a, a, a tight. Okay. Okay, turn around. That's great. And glasses on. Same thing. Terrific. Lovely. Okay. Got it. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. No problem.